Hello friends of AI boardroom drama. The story around the firing of OpenAI CEO Sam Altman has had a few twists and turns since we've last time looked into this. And mind you, that was yesterday. If you're not exactly up to speed with the lore in this universe here, Greg Brockman, himself the chairman of the board of OpenAI, or former chairman, is detailing the key events right here. Last night, Sam got a text from Ilya, that's Ilya Sutskever, asking to talk at noon Friday. Sam joined the Google Meet and the whole board except Greg was there. Greg here being Greg Brockman himself. Ilya told Sam he was being fired and that the news was going out very soon. At 12.19, Greg, you know, the person recounting here, got a text from Ilya asking for a quick call. At 12.23, Ilya sent a Google Meet link. Greg was told that he was being removed from the board but would retain his role at the company and that Sam had been fired. And at that time, OpenAI published a blog post uh, detailing all of this and that's when the rest of us knew. So this was a behind the doors deal followed by a very quick sweep. Also none of the investors were informed, Microsoft wasn't informed and so on. So Sam Altman fired Greg Brockman after that quit. One of the big questions was what is the reason for this very unusual happening? The reason given that Sam Altman was being fired was that he was quote not consistently candid in his communications with the board, hindering its ability to exercise its responsibilities. A lot of people are speculating that there was a concern about AI safety and different directions of the company and how fast it should be pushed towards commercialization. But also there is a different hypothesis popping up, namely that Sam Altman was investing and pulling up uh, startups into the realm of AI hardware to be in, in a less dependence from chip makers like Nvidia or suppliers like Microsoft. So to essentially make their own hardware, which would mean Sam Altman would control these startups or these companies, which would mean that he himself had much more power over open AI, because as of now, he, as you can see, he can be fired quite easily. And the hypothesis is that, that he did not disclose that properly, that he was doing all of these things on the side, and therefore uh, the board may have sacked him. Again, this is in an allegation. These are early reports and scoops and people close to the happening told us types of things. So none of this is as of yet confirmed. OpenAI themselves, specifically the chief operating officer, has released a memo saying that the firing was not made in response to malfeasance or anything related to our financial business safety or security and privacy practices. This was a breakdown in communication between Sam and the board. So this is an internal memo, essentially confirming that that there was some things that Sam may have not disclosed to the board to their satisfaction. Essentially saying that the money is fine, we're fine, everything's fine. It's just that he didn't, you know, he kind of wasn't too honest, which as we all know, even though this is an internal memo, in no way does it mean that this is the truth. This is simply the stated reason or I mean, it doesn't even give a reason. It's kind of very whooshy. If you want to read the full memo, uh, Axios has an article uh, detailing what the memo says. It's essentially saying everything's fine. Sam is gone due to this and we will continue. We're going forward. Yay, yow, open AI, let's go. Some fallouts from this. Open AI's $86 billion share sale that was planned for as early as next month is now in jeopardy. So they were supposed to sell employee shares. Employees could sell their shares, make a bit of cash off of it. Price tag on that will change now that Sam Altman and a few other key employees have left. Other than employees were shareholders who wanted to sell for a nice price, who may be even more upset is uh, Microsoft. Specifically, Satya Nadella reportedly furious, furious following Altman's dramatic departure from OpenAI, which is understandable. Probably Altman among OpenAI leadership was the most into commercialization 
of what they're doing and the most in favor of taking Microsoft money to grow fast and so on. At least that's what we can see from the outside. And yeah, therefore Microsoft who's hedged a lot of money on OpenAI's success, especially their commercial success and product success is not super happy. And so it comes that news are coming out that Altman is planning a new AI venture. Apparently, he has had a gathering with OpenAI employees, former and current OpenAI employees at his house and is already planning a new business. Who knows if Microsoft will go along with that. On the other hand, the OpenAI board is urged by Microsoft and investors to restore Altman to OpenAI. Altman reportedly is ambivalent. So saying like, nah, I don't really care. Uh, I can return, but I can also not return. That's quite a Sigma move, I have to say. And then shortly after that, the news saying OpenAI board in discussions with Sam Altman returning as a CEO. And an update that we get in this article here saying a source close to Altman says the board had agreed in principle to resign and to allow Altman and Brockman to return but since has since waffled, missing a key 5 p.m. deadline by which many OpenAI staffers were set to resign. If Altman decides to leave and start a new company, these staffers would assuredly go with him. People familiar with the situation close to the source, whatever that means, saying the discussions are around Altman returning and the board leaving. So that confirms the previous report that if Altman actually returns, then he would supposedly have a bit more leeway to make decisions and obviously would not want to work under a board that had tried to fire him or that did fire him in sort of a, a backroom deal making. From the Microsoft perspective, again, these are a source told Forbes. Uh, <laughs> Make an, it, it, the playbook is straightforward. Make OpenAI's new management uh, under acting CEO Mira Murati and the remaining board accept that their situation was untenable through a combination of mass revolt by senior researchers, withheld cloud computing credits from Microsoft and a potential lawsuit from investors. Facing such a combination, the thinking is that management would have to accept Altman back, likely leading to the subsequent departure of those believed to have pushed for Altman's removal, including co-founder Ilya Sutsky and board director Adam D'Angelo, CEO of Quora. So the investors are going into pressure mode, including withholding cloud computing credits. And another tweet here from Simeon copying from a Bloomberg article that details more on the nature of Altman's dealings with other startups or other companies. Altman has been looking to raise tens of billions of dollars from Middle Eastern sovereign wealth funds to create an AI chip startup to compete with processors made by Nvidia, according to a person with knowledge of the investment proposal. Altman was courting SoftBank chairman Masayoshi Sun for a multi-billion dollar investment with a new company to make AI-oriented hardware in partnership with former Apple designer Johnny Ive. In turn, OpenAI employees are sending each other hearts on Twitter, quote tweeting each other with hearts, hearts, lots of hearts, lots of hearts for Sam Altman. In related news, Qt AI is a new Paris-based non-profit AI lab that has a lot of backing and a lot of big names associated with it, saying they're starting with almost 300 million euros of philanthropic support and having people such as Jan Lacan on their advisory boards. Could this be the new OpenAI? Who knows? Speaking of Jan Lacan, Meta, according to The Verge, disbanded its responsible AI team. So Meta dividing up responsible AI into just individual people who are joining other teams. I don't know exactly if this is just a restructuring or if the age of dedicated responsible AI is over and is more integrated into product teams and into research teams themselves. So who knows? Uh, everything is up in the air. We'll definitely continue to closely monitor the situation around open AI and surrounding happenings. If Altman comes back, it's going to probably be quite a different open AI, a even more producty open AI. If he doesn't come back, supposedly it's going to be a bit more of a closed off and uh, researchy and effective altruity open AI. But all of these things are just speculations. 
We're excited to see what happens and we'll keep on it. See you around.